Hi, this is Tom from Never Center. I'm going to show you in this video how to use Camerabag Cinema to make a filter that uh, converts a daylight shot into a shot that looks like it was shot uh, at night as much as possible. There's obviously a lot of different lighting things that happen um, that are different between day and night shots, but um, if you do things right, there's a lot of shots that, that you can take shot in the day and make them look significantly more like Either they're shot at night or at dusk. I'll just show you a preview of this. This is the, the filter that I built up beforehand. And uh, you can see just how dramatically it changes the lighting in that. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to show you in this um, how I built up that filter and how you might do something similar. You, uh, you can make different tweaks to, uh, to make the, the effect uh, stronger or uh, adjusted to whatever footage you had. Um, OK, so first I'm going to start. Um, by coming up here to uh, Gamma Curve. This is my first thing that I do with a lot of my uh, footage. And I'm going to drag this left side all the way down here. Um, and <clears throat> you can see that that's just basically uh, bringing down the shadows. Um, and I'll just kind of uh, make it like this. So it's bringing most things down, but I still want the, the, lightest, the lightest parts to come up to, uh, to where they were previously. Um, so that looks pretty good. Uh, the next thing that I would do, um, these uh, skin tones in red right here are way too saturated for, for what would be an actual night shot. So I'm going to come down to my hue saturation curve. I'm going to put that before the gamma curve so this will be applied first. I'm just going to pull down all of these values that are uh, like your uh, reds and skin tones and and greens and stuff. I'll leave the blues up there. Um, all right, we're getting closer. Uh, one thing that I like to do, um, I'm going to get a, uh, a tone curve here and just bring up all of the the, uh, the shadows a little bit. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to see some of the details that are going on here so that they don't get all lost. Uh, uh, a lot of that happens when in, if, if the darkest pixels are actually going to black, black then it can be hard to see some of the detail even though it's still there. Um, and then the final thing that, that you would do uh, in a night shot, there's, it's a sort of a natural blue tone to things. So I'm going to come down to this coloring curve, um, drag this to a nice sort of bluish value. I'm going to put it all the way up on the highlights and then quite far up on the shadows. Yeah, that's too saturated. We'll Tone that down a little bit, somewhere around there-ish. Pull it how you like, either more purple or more green looking. Um, yeah, so that looks pretty good. Now I'll actually just uh, come over to the presets and load the one that I made beforehand that I had tweaked just how I wanted it. Uh, and that's what you would do is uh, save it into a preset so that you could reuse it over and over again. Um, another thing you might want to do before you save it into a preset is just nest it um, day to night so that it's a single tile and then you can save this as a preset and it will load just as a single tile and then uh, it's easier to maybe add your adjustments before that. Um, then of course you could export it to a LUT um, and use it any number of ways with that. But those, those are the basics. Hope you like it and uh, enjoy Camerabag Cinema.